look the part, but let's see some of your moves. I don't know if anyone can hear me. It is delayed. Let's see. I think I can. Oh, I don't want that. Okay, well, the rest of my crew is not here yet, um, and I am having issues with my Instagram feed. Oh, there we go. Hang on. Maybe not. Come on, Instagram. Well, we're going to talk about Star Wars tonight. New Year's. Um, I'm sure Ken has. There we go. See, I'm getting feedback. Hopefully, you're not. Well, hopefully, my <clears throat> Instagram feed did not die. Let's see. Who do I have? I got Ken with no video. Howdy, Ken. Audio is good. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I, I, I have the YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook working, but I might have accidentally knocked the Instagram off. Ken. Can you hear me, Ken? I can. I'm still trying to get my stuff working properly. Well, you sound good here. I had Instagram working, but I think I accidentally shut it off. Well, Ken just left. So normally I'm the one having all the technical problems, but how's everyone's Star Wars Wednesday going? 
um, I have at least two people watching. One of them is probably me trying to go through the. But yeah, I had I had Instagram working, but I have to figure out how to get Instagram to work and not. Um, here we go. And not give me double echoes. So let's see. Let's see here. Uh, but so uh, we're going to talk New Year's. Um, I think we're going to talk predictions for the new year. Uh, we have at least four Star Wars projects that will be out this year. Um, many, many starting. Yeah, so, yeah, I, the, um, I can switch, I can switch it for Instagram, but then I, because I tried it when I was practicing the other day, and it made it really wonky for the others. So maybe I'll mess around with that this week. I just switched this whole, you can't see this now, but, I just changed out all my computers in here. Um, I just put a brand new hard drive in this computer and updated this one. So to make it easier um, and better. So now I'm not having the technical problems and John and Ken are, which is, which is odd. Um, but has anyone has um, what's, what's, I mean, I have one person now listening, maybe no three. Um, what's, is anyone interested or what's, what, Star Wars are you looking forward to the most this year in 2024? Or if you have technical problems that let me know that will help too. Um, or the announcements. <laughs> okay. Let me see. It says waiting for host. I'm getting messages from John. So let me see if I can send them a new key. I just set him a new key, so hopefully that works. Who knows? Um, yeah, I'll mess with the Instagram settings. I just got to figure out how to make Instagram work and not... Um, there we go. I got John. John and Ken. Hang on. Let me get this back to normal people. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Or is it Wednesday? Sorry. And you messed me up here. This is the, the most Monday Wednesday I've ever had. Uh, I'm with you on that, buddy. 100%. Um, John, welcome back. We didn't recognize you there. With There we go. Here are you, John. I had, hey. Insta I had Instagram working, but I couldn't get the audio to shut off in the browser, so it kept echoing back. Mm. So I had it working. Um, but I'm in my, I'm, I have my new computer and everything, so I'm like all... I was thinking I was going to have all the technical problems because I ripped everything out. I have like four computers on the floor that are going to either be sold or taken to whoever recycles computers. So, Do you think one of them would work just to be a, a, a studio computer? It's the one I used to use. I mean, um, the problem is it won't upgrade past... Uh, I forget what it won't upgrade at a certain point. Gotcha. And that was giving me the issues. Now this one here, I have topped out. I forget what I have this one at, but this one's a, has a faster processor, and I put a two terabyte hard drive in it. So, um, but yeah, I mean, hey. yeah, I'm at high Sierra on this one. Mm. I don't think I can go higher than uh, that. I'm on Windows 10. Oh, well. I got a Windows machine here because I was messing with TikTok. I was trying to get TikTok, the TikTok key. You know, I figured I got Instagram key working. I get TikTok working. But small steps in 2024. So what, what are we going to talk about? We have someone else. Is that Charlemagne? How do you guys, can you see this the thing? How do you pronounce that? No. Mm -hmm. 
Char, charm. I don't know, but they were helpful in in keeping me bit company while you guys were not sitting here. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I've been sitting in the original link you sent for like. Well, that, yeah, I don't. I don't. Minutes. I didn't even get the original link. This is... <laughs> I don't know what changed because it's the same one. I mean, unless it's Every time, on right? different computers, because I set it up on a different computer and I came down here. So who knows what I did wrong? I'll 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 take the hit for the error. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was an odd day to be a Star Wars fan. I had to uh, I had to delete a whole bunch of people that just got on my nerves first thing today. Oof. Please don't tell me it was about the comment that the. The new director made? Yes. Oh, for the love of Pete. That sounds about right. <clears throat> I was just talking to Heather about that, you know, like less than 10 minutes ago. Well, I mean, my only thing is, and this is just me saying this mildly sarcastic, but um, it, the same people that are complaining about how bad the last couple movies were, and you would think they would want a total different change and it would make them happy, and they seem to be the same people piling on to, you know, I don't know. It, it's who were the people? Hmm? I don't. It who was just random. People? I don't want to say their names on on thing, but are we live? Yeah, yeah, we're live. Oh, no, I just mind. Started, I didn't yeah. realize. No, I'll say it. I'll say it after. But I'm not gonna. I just it was just anyone. I, just, I was just like, I don't know you enough to. And there was a few that I knew, but I was just like, you know, I, I don't, I don't need this on a Wednesday after New Year's. And I had I had I had Star Wars Club today, so we watched finished watching Empire, and then like two seconds before Star Wars Club, there was a fight right outside of my room. So that was like I was like really like like twenty minutes before the end of the day, and you have to get in a fist fight <laughs> like that. I have to stop. I'm like, oh come on. So you know, <laughs> starting twenty twenty four off with a bang. Oh, my this is Wednesday. Wednesday Mondays are the are the worst. So, but yeah. Um, first off, how was everyone's holiday? Our holiday here, both holidays, New Year's Eve and Christmas, were very very nice. Thank you, John. Yeah. Haven't seen you since I think Thanksgiving or something. It's been a couple weeks. It's been a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, no, the holiday holidays were great. Notice he didn't say he missed us. I, know, I right? miss you guys. Well, Come you on. Had, you, had re- you had retail, so <laughs> holidays were probably not the same. Than, yeah, you, know. that, you you picked up a bunch of work during that that time away. Yeah, it was. It's the, the work has been miserable, but the holidays themselves were great. Yeah. Did I tell you what made? I don't know if I told. I know I didn't tell John this, but Mike, did I tell you what I thought made Christmas interesting this no. year? Was that? Um, the boys, at least Eric, got me. Toys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you and I were talking about that. That's was... yeah. So, so I got some some new Star Wars toys from 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 one of the boys this year, which was which was really really cool. And he got he got me a, a six inch Black Series Star Killer, and the uh, the six inch Black Series Qui Gon Ghost. Nice. Very nice. So they're two that I didn't have in my collection, and I didn't know that I needed them, and they were perfect additions to the to the setup. They're right up behind me. I have the three foot Yoda. I got myself the three foot Yoda. I called four different stores and none of them had. I any. have two extras if you need them. Jeez. Well, because I went and got two more today because I was like, you know what? I think I might set one of these up in my classroom. I'll put the t shirt of the robotics team up and just have them sitting up there. Because it's creepy when it's not moving, but it's not nearly as the it animated does itself better justice than it just sitting there. Yeah, I would gladly purchase. Yeah, fifty-three bucks, man. Next time I see you, I just I I saw two there, and I was like, look, someone's gonna want one, you know. Well, what's funny is that that fifty-three dollars is the equivalent of two Black Series figures. <laughs> well, and five times the scare value. Yeah, it, it comes with ho- it comes with two holiday setups. It comes with Halloween and Christmas. It comes with a little sign that says Merry Christmas and Happy Halloween that you can switch out. And it comes with a Santa hat and a witch hat. Nice. How do you how do you convert over what it says? It says the same thing. It's like it's uh, generic. It says three phrases. You know. Okay. So. The first one is something to do with the force. The second one is something to do with happy holidays. The third is I'll haunt your dreams forever. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. it's, but it's, it's, I don't know. I, I would have. 
it's one of those things when it was 200 bucks i saw everything wrong with it and it was 50 bucks i was like that's the greatest thing ever <laughs> that's how they get you man that's how they get you so i because i just i went in for light bulbs to be honest with you i went in for light bulbs i was like what 35 percent off <laughs> And so I just thought, I, I'll just walk through and see if they have something. And I was like, there's a giant Yoda there. I mean, I mean, yeah, that's the. I, I sent you guys a video earlier in the, the, the Christmas season with that. Yeah. So, I don't know. He's sitting, he's actually sitting in the seat that designated for if I ever live stream with the HDMI. Like, he's sitting, <laughs> so he's your co-host he's like, for the Because I was going to pack him away. I was like, ah, hell, I'll just keep him out. You know, why not? Yeah, I mean, as if you don't already have plenty of Star Wars decorations. That's true. That's so true. He's, he's not out of place. No, no. And he's easier to put inside the house than the uh, the Darth Vader inflatable. That's true. That's true. I, I, that's, you know, so. Did you get any nice additions to your collection for Christmas, John? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, my parents got me the, uh, I, I got a lot of Legos this year. Seem to be the theme, but uh, yeah, my parents got me the Yavin Four Temple oh. and Ahsoka's uh, T Six Shuttle, and then my girlfriend got me uh, Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle. Nice, very appropriate, and congratulations on your uh, your latest costume, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, is your is your girlfriend in the five hundred first? No, not not yet. <laughs> I, that, <I'm> gonna... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice follow up question, Mike. It's already it's already in the hopper. Yeah. So. Those who troop together stay together. Well, One day. I say that it was like a swingers club there for a while. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> like five or six years ago, I was like, what? Because I'd be like, hey, wait a minute. Isn't, doesn't that guy marry? And they'd be like, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> so, I was like, okay, I'll just keep my mouth shut. You know, nerds, nerds when they get together. Yep. <laughs> so. Anyone troop? Yeah. No one trooped, right? Um, yeah, I haven't trooped since the beginning beginning of December. So, anyone build anything? We're like, we're like. Oh, I got. I uh, I'm starting a small army. What is it? A is that a frog? It's the Lego frog oh. that I printed at a eleven hundred percent. Oh, I gotta, yeah. I gotta get you the some file that you asked for. Oh, the the pit droid. Yeah, yeah. I um. Speaking of droids and pit droids specifically, do you know of anybody who has the file for the Jedi Temple, the the Young Jedi Adventures droids? I have, I have him printed. The little guy, the, the little, little like R two dome with little legs. Yes. Yeah, I have. Him. He's sitting on my. He's sitting in my printer room right now. Oh, that's I so funny! Them. I just have to I have to reprint a couple pieces because I oriented them wrong. But I have and is is it real size or is it is like an action like, figure size? Uh, he's, he'll probably stand like twelve inches to to a foot and a half tall, maybe. Or, yes, I need one of those too. Okay, yeah, I, I, that might be my entrance to the droid builders. Huh? That might be my entrance to the droid. Yeah, builders. He, he's pretty cool. I I got him from Droid Division, so. Like okay. that's the that's the go to for static droids. Yeah, because I watched a couple uh, episodes of Young Jedi Adventures over the holiday because we I um, Heather's goddaughter I'm gonna call her. Um, we went up there and, and celebrated Christmas after the after the fact, and I got her a lightsaber. That was the one thing that she had asked for, and her her parents had no idea which one. I said no 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 don't worry. Don't worry, I'll get. I got this. I'll get you taken care of. So I got one that changes color, changes sound, all that kind of stuff. And um, we watched a couple episodes of Young Jedi Adventures while we were up there. And then she proceeded to ask me to go outside in the backyard, and she hit me like seventeen times. And you and Anakin you know. on her. And... <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do? No, there was there was at least one time where she hit me dead across the knuckles. And I thought I was gonna cry, like it was like full full four year old baseball bat swing yeah. right across the knuckles with a plastic lightsaber. Yeah. Bailey. Oh man, my eyes watered up. I looked away. That'll yeah, I, do watched, it. I watched um, the life day one Christmas morning. Okay, you know, 
Yeah, that's a good show. I mean, there's going to be there's going to be a lot of kids that that because because my nephew is a big um, Star Wars fan through that show. Like that's his show. Like he likes Mando. Yes. But, you know, that's his. So. Yeah, it's a it's a fun show, and the, the animation style I think is fantastic. Yeah, for what it is. Well, and you know, it, it's just it just shows the 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 connecting power of Star Wars and and just how what it what that's almost like I, I'm glad that the critic people don't get a hold of that and just you know like the same people that rip apart the other stuff. Which I'm just glad they don't probably don't even watch it because it's just a fun. It's just like an innocent Star Wars, you know. I haven't heard anyone ask whether it's canon or not. So someone did in one of the costuming groups I am in. <laughs> and it, it, it got the same answer as um, like Lego Adventures. It's oh the Free Maker yeah, Adventures, like canon adjacent. You okay. know, so I mean the canon part is is it's kind of a moot point, you know, to a certain point because everything is somewhat canon. Even Legends is canon just by being called Legends. That means, at the very least, someone's telling that story in the Star Wars universe. Ah, good point. Yeah. Except for Chewie getting hit by a planet. That'll never... That's garbage to me. So. <laughs> now, John, did you watch the um, uh, the holiday special um, uh, documentary? A Disturbance in the Forest? I have not yet. Uh, where is it on Disney Plus? No, it? that's, it's a, you have to buy it. There's, wow. Yeah. It's either Amazon Prime or you can what's that the what's that old timey technology? Oh yeah, DVD. DVD. That, you I bought DVD. it in DVD form. We're pirates. Yeah. We don't know what that means. <laughs> it's good. It's it, I mean I you would like about it, but it, it it is it is a good lesson in how to be positive. Right. Yeah, I definitely I need to I need to watch it. I I know I need to. It's just a matter of getting to it. It's a, it's I've, a fun. I have been knee deep in uh, Dark Side of the Ring, the uh, the Vice series. Oh, never heard of it. What what ring is the Dark Side? Uh, dark Side of the Wrestling Ring. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. You know that's not real, John. Oh, I know. <laughs> uh, I know. My 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 step grandfather believed that was real until the day he died. You know, good for him. He was At least... Andre the Giant. We used to go to his house. I used to have an Andre the Giant glass mug that would like hold like a gallon of soda. <laughs> Look, kayfabe never dies as long as you believe in it. Yeah. No, um, yeah, it's definitely the documentary to watch. Um, and then I, yeah, I, I watched Solo the other day, which I forgot how wonderful. I love to have a show. So, and then our news of four shows coming out. So, I think you and I talked about this a little bit last week, Ken. But if you had to rank, we have four people watching now. Is that like us three and one other? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not on YouTube tonight. Yes, so I don't know who that is. So, if you're watching, chime in. Either tell us how much you hate us or how much you like us. It would make us really <laughs> excited. I don't know what the. What's the what's the little one with what's that logo up there? There's another logo. Is it somebody watching it? Possibly. Uh, you said you had the oh, Instagram, maybe Instagram thing. still going. I have no clue. The Instagram feed was like <laughs> mashed or something like that, so it was it was bad. Mm. So I'll figure Instagram out next week. That could be our goal for 2024 is to figure out all those all this, this new fangled angles. Yes, well, we're doing pretty good figuring. Most of most of it, I'm doing 15 minutes before we go on air. It's not like I'm like I had this whole this whole place looks really nice, but none of the wires were hooked up. And I was like, oh crap, because I played around with that tape recorder with the Empire Strikes Back recording, and um, just to see how the sound came through on a tape recorder, and I, and I was pleased with that. So figuring it's like a 50 year old tape recorder. I just happened to be online at the time that that I'm like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> What's what? The Flame of Falcons <laughs> live? What am I missing? <laughs> <laughs> like what in the wild was because i had hopped on i was i was doing some um taking some notes for the rambling star wars fan and i saw that i'm like what what is this yeah yeah because i was in here clean i was like i'm gonna see if this tape because I, I was plugging wires in and stuff i was like i'm gonna see if this tape player works because i'm in this mood of like it's either trash or sell or get it just get it out 
like I, I guess I got tired of this room and and I'm going through all the little stuff. I'm like, I need a comic book show that I can go spend a hundred bucks on the table and just sell all this the little stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm just I, I you know I complain about too much stuff and then I buy three mechanical Yodas. So I, that shows my that shows my problem. Priorities, priorities. But we have four announced shows. So I was thinking, which one? Which one are you looking forward the most? You have yes. to pick one. No, I don't. not no. Like they're all like a ten, but you have to pick the eleven. Like your 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 Disney Plus subscription is only going to let you watch one of them. Like they're going to ask you a question tomorrow, and you pick one, and you can't see the other ones. Oh, hey, it's Kerwin's on. How are you doing? Oh, that's so cool. Now, now I feel like we've made it. We've made. It. Yeah, we we've we've arrived. Happy that's New awesome. Year. So, what, what, that's if so you cool. if you had to pick one of the four, so the four would be the um, Bad Batch, uh, the young or no Jedi? What's the cartoon? Tales, Tales of the Jedi. Tales of the Jedi. Tales of the Jedi. Um, Acolyte or uh, Skeleton Crew. You can only pick one, and you have to watch it. And then you'll get to watch the others, but you have to watch one of these. For, I have to watch one first. first. Like, which one do so, I want? Okay. Well, so, that, that I'm, will, I'm willing to play with that. <laughs> um, I think I would watch the Acolyte first because it's the one that is in an era I don't know a lot about. So I know that they have High Republic books and, and things like that. Um I pick that one to watch first. The Acolyte? Yeah, the Acolyte. Well, if you watch Young Jedi Adventures, it takes place at the same time. I'm sure it's gonna be just like that. <laughs> yeah, but this one has this one has Eunice as a Wookiee. Oh, yeah, I Jedi. saw him in that costume at celebration. Yeah, he looked oh, fantastic. If if I if I didn't have six million other projects, I would be at Marty's house having me help me make that costume. Because <laughs> it's like it's it's just like the Wookiees, <clears throat> but with robes. Like it's just it's you know. So he's been naked this whole time. Chewbacca's been naked yeah, this whole time. Yeah, free know. love with Chewbacca or something. <laughs> but you know, it's it just he was just so cool. He had like a ponytail on top. It just it just you know. As much as they they everyone doesn't like the new era of Star Wars, but when those new Wookiees came out in Revenge of the Sith, they weren't nearly as much as loved as this one coming out. You know. Yes, yeah, so I, I would act like to watch. <laughs> All right, John. Yeah, I have to say, I I would say either Skeleton Crew or Acolyte. the The animated stuff interests me, but not as much as the live action stuff. Which one, Acolyte or? <sighs> You only get one. Mm. Got to watch that That's one. Hard. I am going to say Skeleton Crew only because of what we saw at Celebration. Yeah. See, I'm with John. So, see, Skeleton Crew wins. Ken, I'm sorry, you're voted off. No. <laughs> yeah, but see, here's where I'm the I'm the odd man out is I didn't get the benefit of being at Celebration with you guys to see what you saw. Well, but we saw Acolyte as well. Yeah, no, yeah. but either way, I didn't. I still didn't see what you saw. Okay. So if I saw what you saw, I might I might think differently. Yeah. Or if I saw what you saw, I might see. Well, I, it's kind of like I understand your your perspective in the sense that you want to see something with, with stuff you haven't don't know much about. That I agree. But I, I I'm skeleton crew intrigues me because the kids are this kind of the star maybe. So I'm curious where it's. I'm just I'm just curious how that's going to be. Is it going to feel like? Um, Stranger Things in Star Wars, you know, is it? It's it's just it's gonna be, it's gonna be neat. I mean, I you know, so I'd pick that first, and then I get to watch the rest of them too. And the animated stuff, I just hope it all gets released spread out that I can just enjoy it in a spread, not like everything gets released the same weeks and then we're. Yeah, I hope they stick with. I I really like that model of one episode per week. Mm -hmm. I, I I like that much more than you know a giant bolus. Here you go, you get eight episodes, ten episodes, twelve episodes all at once. Well, and I've been saying this from the beginning that I still would love to just have Wednesday Star Wars show, and it could be any show, and you don't know until like you know like they'll be like in hey, next week 
it's Mando season four, number seven. And the following week it's, you know, like, or there's three or three episodes of Mando and then two episodes. Just, I just run it every week. So every week I get star Wars and then I would keep my subscription and, I don't know what the Disney subscription is, but if you would go online, you would think they jacked it up to like a million dollars. I hate to hear that's my other complaint. I heard so many people complaining about Disney um, subscription while I see their feed filled with thousands of dollars worth of their costumes. So I'm like, really? You know, you're the same people that complain about going out to eat after we troop because you don't have any money and you're sitting in a, you know, a $2,200 clone. Well, so let's talk about the subscription services things for a moment, because I think folks forget some of the, the, the details associated with them. So you've got this service. So they're giving you this stuff, this this entertainment, which you don't need. You don't have to have right. it. So, you know, there's nobody to twist. It's not as if it's, you know, you know, life saving medicine or or even food to get you through to the next day. It's extra. It's entertainment. Then you have all of these different tiers of, of, of pricing. So you've got the, the high tier where you pay with no ads. You've got the, the lower tier where you pay with, with ads. But then you also have ones where if you are a, a member of this service, like for instance, we have you know a certain cell phone company. And with our cell phone company, we get a discount to Disney Plus. So we're not paying that high level tier. We're not even paying that that low level tier with ads. We're playing it, we're paying an altogether different price. So there isn't just one price for this, this entertainment stuff. And then on the other end of it, when you hear them talking about the stuff that they're making, it's costing millions of dollars to make. And they're they're getting the money to make those things from the subscriptions. Right. Well, and and I understand, you know. But I come from the day where, like, you had you just had one cable company, and then if you wanted anything else, you had to pay, like HBO and all of those, and, and you didn't get much. And now, like, it's still a pain because you know you pay all those. It's just I just think it's funny, um, because I don't know what I pay because I signed up at Celebration Chicago for like the three year plan or whatever it was, and then yeah, that's I did the same thing. Um, actually, I think it was before Chicago because yeah. you were able to get it. Um, that get that three year price before the event. I thought. Yeah, I don't remember when. I just knew when I saw it. I was like, well, I know we're going to get it. So, and then, but now mine re ups as a one year plan. Like it's just one price. Yeah. And, and who am I kidding? I'll, it's not like I'm gonna. Well, I might drop it this month. I I pretty much drop almost every other service. Yeah, I think Disney Plus for us at least is the only subscription service with a 365 day value. Yeah. Cause I mean, you get access to the entire star Wars library, the entire Marvel library and all of the Disney movies, which don't, that doesn't add any value for me, but those two alone, Disney or star Wars and Marvel. Yeah. I have no problem paying that subscription service every month. Oh, wait a minute. So you're telling me that you don't just watch Moana just because it's Tuesday. Nope. I tell you what, you though, should. I, some of those, like, if you go back to some of those old ones, like they have some of the older ones. There's some really like Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea, and and some of those old ones are pretty. pretty good. Well, well, and they have all those extra bits. So not only is it just, you know, you've got the Star Wars Channel, the Marvel Channel. They also have ones about the Imagineers, so you can learn about how they made the made the attractions or the the history of Space Mountain or or even the history of Star Tours. So it's it's not specifically Star Wars, but it's you know it's kind of like you know Legends it's, or, or Lego Freemakers. It's Star Wars adjacent, right? You know, so you can it, yeah, I I a hundred percent agree with you, John. That that Disney Plus is one of those those services that's. 365 and a quarter days worth of value. You could watch something on it every single day, even if it's just you turn on one of those those biome shows oh, yeah, for 20 yeah, minutes absolutely. to get the to get the music and the ambiance and all that kind of stuff. And then okay, I'm, I've got my got my 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 fix for for this moment. I'm gonna go on and do something else. Yeah, even some of the documentaries on there. Like I on Christmas Day, I watched Dial of Destiny and Raiders of the Lost Ark, and then oh, yeah, I yeah. I went through and watched the uh, iconic characters Indiana Jones documentary uh, i haven't seen that yet excellent yeah, that's a good one um but yeah no i mean even the documentaries they put on there are 
fantastic. Well, even some of the, I got hooked on the um, what's the there's a they have a television show about people that live in northern Alaska. Life below zero. Oh. Yep. Uh, see, I figured the, I, I I picked you for one of the watch the the Disney weddings. Me. They have a, yeah, they have the, the episodes about all the people who who plan their Disney weddings. No. Though I know uh, Marty's daughter's getting married at Disney next year. Really? Yeah, we got married at Disney. I don't know. I was I was a poor person married, man. We got married in like a 300-year-old church with like a, a, a best man and a groom and a and a bridesmaid. That was it. It was like Well, it was it was the four of us and then the 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 officiant. That was it. And Marty was, does a lot of um Disney weddings. Like he goes down and shoots photography for them. Oh, that's It'll cool. be a courthouse wedding for me if I ever get married. Well, I'd suggest I, I like marriage, so you know, Missy and I have the discussion many times. So we we just did our thirtieth anniversary this past summer. Um, if I had to do it over again, I would have got married about five years sooner. Just because we knew we were going to, and we were those kind of people, like we were trying to be practical. Let's wait till this, wait till that, wait till this, and it just you know, the, we just. I, I lucked out, you know. I mean, not too many of my friends have been married for as long as I have. So, I have a, a set of friends who they're they're not married, but they've been together for decades, mm -hmm. and I I admire that 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 level of of commitment and attention without having to you know follow the the rules of the road and and everyone else and then you know get that slip of paper or whatever well that slip of paper we always talk about would have helped us when we went to college the first time because that puts you at a different level of getting things paid really oh yeah if you're a married couple and one of them, one of them goes to college because if you're not married the finances default back to your parents a lot of the time depending on how many years you've not lived at home or if you're on their insurance and all that and even if your parents don't give you a dime, if they make good money or own a house, it puts you in a different bracket than if you're just a married couple living in an apartment. Hmm. Hmm. I did not know that. Yeah. So it's a, you know, there is the, there is benefits to that, but life lessons on the, uh, yeah. well, you know what life lessons I wish I would have had when I was married though. I wish I would have known you could have a star Wars wedding. I never really thought that, you know what I mean? Like in the nineties, I never, like, I never, it just never dawned on me. Like Missy probably would have went for it, but I never, I never, it never dawned on me to ask, you know, like, like, cause I, we were just coming out of the time period when you got wedgies and swirlies for like in D and D or, or, or <laughs> star Wars. So, but yeah, no, I found out a nice little tidbit <clears throat> over the holiday. Uh, that the uh, where Anakin and Padme got married in Italy, the, Lake Cuomo. they they offer a wedding package, three thousand dollars for thirty minutes. Well, you know how much money it would cost to get a high res background. <laughs> Not a whole lot. <laughs> I know someone who dresses like C three PO. Don't there. don't tell them you're getting married. Just just walk up there real quick. You know. <laughs> Have a have a have a you know a gorilla yeah, wedding. gorilla wedding. Just make sure you have the uh, the protocol droids mind erase when you're done. Yep. We well, you know if you ever get a divorce, you can go to like Death Valley where the two droids separate and walk. That 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 one shot was shot at Death Valley. If you don't mind 125 degree weather, that's true. And so, yeah. The other thing I did over break, I went to a place called the Troll Market in Lancaster, and they have a D&D &D room you can rent. It's set up like an, it looks like a medieval feasting area. And you can play D&D &D for three and a half hours for 60 bucks. Do they provide snacks or do you have to no, bring your own snacks? It's just the room itself. You don't have time to snack when you're playing D&D. &D. Don't be one of those yeah. guys that brings his food and then spills it on someone's <laughs> character sheet. <laughs> the my my pet peeve with that is the people who bring food or the people that play with the miniatures just just get out of my sight you know you don't like minis i like minis when they're used but i hate when you're you set them up 
and then someone has to like sword fight with your mitt and like come on man oh you know what yeah I mean? <laughs> I mean as opposed to like for, a visual aid they're there for a reason buddy <laughs> Yeah, they got a sword fight in your imagination. Well, because that's what when I after I was there, I was like, oh, how can I change this room I'm sitting in into a D D table? I have an extra projector. I'm mounted on the ceiling, shooting straight down onto the table, and then I can load maps up. You know, it's like, what can I do? And I was like, eh, I just, I was like, I don't need another. Problem. You have to finish the generic yeah. table you I, have. That, that's exactly what came in my head. Someone offered to buy. I I had pictures of stuff I was selling on eBay, and someone said, "I don't want the stuff that you're selling, but how much for the table it's sitting on?" <laughs> Ten grand. I was like, "No, sorry, buddy. If I give that away, I'd never get another one done." And you printed out all the figures, right? For that, I I have not yet. Um, I'm gonna I want to print them in um, liquid resin. Okay. So I'm gonna print okay. them in the garage in the summer because I, I don't I want them all translucent. So, yeah, that that I did. I didn't get much done over Christmas for that, but I did get the measurements and I watched about 10 tutorials on how to build the table. So that's my, that's awesome. my next cutting project. What about uh, belt buckle? Belt buckle. You know, as soon as as soon as you put your head up, he's, I said he's going to ask me about the Darth Vader belt buckle. And I was just yeah. lazy on that. I was I got the I got. I asked him about it last time. I got the Sabine um, soft goods for the live action Sabine, which are they're actually really nice. So I'm I'm happy with those. Um, well, hold on, you. He didn't answer the. Question. Hold on. So you got the Sabine soft goods. Did you order a new set or did you? I ordered a new set. What happened with the gray or the brown set? The brown set's sitting here, and I think the brown set is going to be Safi's Mandalorian set. Okay, I'm going to make a, a Sabine-ish looking character, and I'm 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 thinking if it looks, I, what I what I'd like to do is make it look like, just color correct every every Sabine color. You know, like like so, figure out like, so it kind of goes with the brown. So when she's she does when she's not staying with Sabine, she doesn't look like Sabine, but she looks like all the colors were just changed, on a Sabine costume. So why don't you do the the like the 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 opposite of it? Yeah, something like that's what I'm. Th I, you know, at one point in time when the girl before Sabine came around, I was thinking of doing um, the twins from GI Joe. I wanted to do a set of um, Bando the Chameleon Wong. twins. Huh? The, the Chameleon twins. No, the the twins from GI Joe, the the red and blue, and that were for that were for Cobra. I don't know much about GI Joe. I just remember them on the cartoon, and they were like they were like mirror images of each other. The action figures. Yeah, they were the the two dudes with long brown hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was going to do a color scheme like that of two Mandos for the girls okay. when they were little, but then Sabine came along and it kind of shot that down. So okay, let me ask you this then: Why are you dodging the question? What's going on with the belt buckle? I'm just. I, I just. I, I was honestly. I was the laziest I ever was in my entire life over Christmas break when it came to that stuff. Like, like, like I was lazy. He just wasn't focused. That I hate because he did a lot of other stuff and not associated with the belt buckle. Yeah, but I, but I was, yeah, but I was. That was still lazy to me. Like, no, I, I was like, I came downstairs the one day with all the intention of working on Vader. Vader stuff was in a tote behind an old computer. Just me picking up that computer got me sidetracked to start wiping out all the hard drives. So I spent a whole day wiping out all these hard drives. And and then when I got them all wiped out, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I have it. And then when I moved them all, I found that I had that bent monitor that wasn't hooked up. I was like, I should hook up the monitor, which then turned into tearing this whole thing apart and putting it all together. And again, I was down here and I saw my cassette player. And that's, that's my stream of consciousness. In the time that you've been working on Vader, huh? I have gotten two different Kylo um, costumes approved. I have one costume approved since 07. I know. 07. I'm just saying, just order the belt buckle. I know. Just order the belt buckle, and then everything else will just start so falling into which place. One, which, which is more expensive, the belt buckle or three Yodas? <laughs> That's true. That's exactly true. <laughs> Because the other thing I was thinking, so 
you know, I, I mentioned I had called around to four different Home Depots and I was on my way driving to one on the way home from work today. I'm like, wait a minute, even though it's only 50 bucks or whatever, that's like a third of what it's going to cost me for the soft goods for this din to jar in. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't go to that fifth Home Depot. I should just go home. Well, that's what I was like. Why, if I rush out of work, I can go to this one and see if they have one. They had, you know, and I was like, yeah, uh, it's not. And thank you for picking that up for me because yeah. now I have another reason to, to come up to Pennsylvania. It's, yeah, I, I just, I just, it's honestly when I'm, when, now that I'm back to school and what's nice is everything's cleaned up. Like I have no excuse to do nothing else. Like my garage is clean. Like I... Got rid of it. I had a motor that I tore apart and it somehow fit in the trash can and went to the, went to the, um, trash. Um, I had, cause I, I had a, a frozen, I have three motors. I had to get rid of one. I just needed some parts off of it. So I got that out of my garage and that was just taking up. It was just like a whole bunch of pieces laying everywhere. So, so you just threw it in the bin and just called it a day. I put the aluminum in the recycling bin. <laughs> the block wouldn't fit. <laughs> I spent two days with a busted shoulder. I messed my shoulder up somehow. I it got better over break. And the first thing I did was go and pick up motors and throw them in the trash. As you should. It doesn't hurt. Yeah. I I I really I just gotta get Vader. I just want Vader done. Like I'm I'm at the point where I just I need someone to just lock me in my house and say you're not allowed any food until you you know, get Vader done. Dare so, I ask my follow-up question? Yes. How's Keely? Keely is still just sitting there. Ke Keely's just a, a paint day. And that's like that. This weather is messed me up with paint because I started painting um, the Sabine racer helmet mm. and the Sabine um, fencing helmet. And because of the cold, I had to heat her on in the garage and everything. It just, it, the paint was just not being good to me. And so I just wound up kept sanding. And, and so it's, I just, and, and it's that thicker paint. I, I, I was using the um, stuff from AutoZone, which I like, but it's not in this kind of weather. It's just yeah. not. It was going on like glue. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm really lucky. The uh, the Mandalorian helmet I painted, we had like a stretch of like two or three 47, 50 degree days where I was like, cool, we're going to get this painted as fast as possible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, I just, I just got to get, and I, I blame you, John, for not being on the show and her not bugging me about it. I mean, what would you have gotten done in three weeks? He could have gotten four costumes done, according to you. <laughs> well, I, I mean, honestly, with um, see, you met me midway through COVID, John. There during COVID, man, I was, I was just, like just banging stuff out. People would say, I remember the one day Caden was like, he said something about something, like at eight o'clock at night. When he woke up the next morning, I had all, all pictures and videos of all the stuff I made because he was something I made. Both he wanted money or something like that, Mandalorian money. I three D printed it made molds and cast a whole bunch of it before he even woke up. So. Yeah, no, that's fair. But and hey, then look, Marty, Marty was at my house like six days a week and we were just molding stuff. Cause I, I want to, I want to make a, a real guard helmet is what I have this. I have this beautiful mold. Oh, did you finally get it? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's really nice. Um, here, while you guys, yeah, I'll, I'll get the mold. How's the pit droid coming, Ken? Have you gotten your... Yeah, I haven't done any work on it because of the holiday. Nah. Because I use part of the living room for, like, you know, prep area and stuff like that. And with the Christmas tree and all the all the other fixings and stuff, I haven't worked on anything for several weeks. That's fair. <clears throat> yeah, the only, I... the only thing I worked on was that helmet and then printing my, my army. That's awesome. Yeah. Heather also got me a... Uh, um, Trapper Wolf helmet for Christmas from Ollie's. Um, somewhere else, but it, it was it wasn't at the Ollie. It was like fifty bucks instead of the thirty. That's not bad. So. It, it, those helmets are still worth it at fifty. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, I still haven't haven't figured out where I'm going to arrange it because it's 
you know, I've only got in this little setup, I've only got eight slots. And so I'm going to have to figure out which one I want to take out. Look at this beautiful mold. Can't really see it in here. Ah, yes, orange. What is so it's what well, that's what I forgot when I bought it to ask him what kind of silicone he used. It was orange or green because the green will tear like mm. crazy. And the orange is just so much nicer. So, and it's a one piece roll. It's a roll off mold, so there's no seam. Oh, Mike, I might have you cast me a helmet. I'm a little short for a royal guard, but soft goods for that that costume are cheap. Well, because uh, the 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 royal guard, you could we could do um, red, blue, and black, right? Because I, I I don't think I'll do. I don't. They look like the they look like the most uncomfortable costume to wear. Ever. Yeah. I don't know. The Gamorrean guard is also looks mildly uncomfortable. Which one? The Gamorrean guard. Yeah. Gamorrean gals. There's a Gamorrean guard that used to come out to um, Pittsburgh all the time. Well, Joe has a Gamorrean guard. Maybe that's the one that got passed around. That thing stunk like a Gamorrean. That made me. <laughs> it just it smelled like bo and concrud. It wasn't the person. It was just the material it was made of. You know. <laughs> But yeah, that was a man. That was a, and it had that funky latex smell. So, I like these people to send me stuff because they, this guy looks like he used his cardboard boxes like I use them for because they have spray paint overspray on them. You know, <laughs> like what he used for a stand. But here, we'll have a, we'll have an un unboxing because I didn't even open the armor yet. I was going to say, how did the armor look? Huh? I was gonna. That was my next question. Is how does the armor look? I didn't even. Uh, yeah, I was because this armor will probably be sold from when the first helmet goes. If I mean, I don't know. Unless I got to do almost nothing to it. Also, I got to teach this person how to ship because they they paid too much for shipping because they made put it too big of a box. Mike, I love how you say, you know, unless you have to do almost nothing to it, but in re in reality, we all know that almost nothing. Well, I don't know anything about the, I don't know anything about the, um, the Royal Guard's armor. Mm. So. Yeah, see, this needs trimmed. It's nice, though. Oh, that's almost a TK shoulder bell. Yeah, except that little, that little index. Yeah. yeah. That's a, that could be almost like a custom Mando. Yeah. With that. Which is one of the other costumes he was talking about wanting to make last week. Forearm. Look, if you've got too many too many projects on your plate, you still have an open invitation to sell that uh, clone armor. Is that a cod piece? That's the easiest one to finish. That's literally a paint job. Oh, this one's trimmed. Oh, that is not a clean looking cut. No, that looks like looks like this young man. Uh, I don't know what he cut it with, but a yeah, that's a knife. I got look that. That, was, that one might be cut. Oh, oh, that's wait a minute. No, there's that. I wonder if he started cutting that and it was like, yeah, I'm not. I can't do this armor. I, I'm assuming this is the. No matter how many times I cut it, it's still too short. <laughs> This this doesn't feel like ABS though. It's thick. It's like really thick. Is it PVC? No, I don't know. ASS. I don't know if these are four. I don't even know what half this crap is. That's four arms. The back. This stuff is thick, though. I mean, it's like, yeah. That's that's no joke. But there's the P. I mean, you can see the shape. It's, yeah. It's still bad. I mean, it's vacuum formed, so I guess I don't know. I, again, I don't know. He could have just sent me random pieces, and I'd be like, oh, a refrigerator drip pan. I assume. Oh, I assume the first is this leg armor. Sure, looks like it. Like shins? Shins. Chest armor. That's that's TK chest. Yeah, it's pretty much it's 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 a little squared up though, I think. Like that's 
And these are a little skinnier than TK, I think. Oh, yeah. They're like square. These are, uh, you know, again, I don't know anything about the armor. And then there's another. Oh, speaking of TKs, did you guys hear that uh, RS Prop Masters is not selling kits anymore? I did not. Why not? Uh, they're just switching to the the full fully built kits. Well, oh. like the the pre assembled ones. Well, I can see why people do that because, like, Marty and I have talked a little bit about clone helmets, like getting back into clone helmets because we just had so much fun making them. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about just doing pre assembled clones, like we're doing a run of Rexes. Mm -hmm. you know and you charge a little extra and then everyone seems happy because the people that you know there's a lot i mean look at me look at all the crap i have sitting around and i know what i'm doing there's a lot of people that don't know what they're doing like i have a guy at work that bought a waltz trooper factory and every once in a while i'll get an email hey you know how do you do this how do you do that you know so i understand that yep yeah i couldn't do it can't i could i could the tk was overwhelming for me yeah it's it's a it's a better i mean i have a kit sitting there and it's it's kind of one of those things where i know what to do like i've done two tk kits i've done my my um fx kit which wasn't really much work because it was pre-cut but my um sand trooper was just that was that was a scary one to start mm -hmm. but i will tell you once i started it 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 didn't take me long so. right Come. I want to do an Enoch TK kit. Huh? If I'm going to do a TK, I want to do Enoch. Enoch. I have the 3D files for him. Yeah, his, I just don't know. his CRL is coming soon. Yeah, I just don't know um, how the, the TK 3D printed kits, I have yet to see one. The only 3D printed kit that, that stands out as a trooper that looks okay is the um, the uh, Shore Trooper. Mm -hmm. Most of them are 3D printed. I've seen a Patrol Trooper that's 3D printed that looks really good. Yeah. I yeah, I mean, all those, like the, yeah. all those style, like the tanker <laughs> and the, that style. I just, I'd be curious what a TK would look like. You're going to laugh. I, uh, Galactic Armory just put out a Rogue One TK kit. Yeah. That looks really good. Yeah, I, I know they'll look good. I just wonder, it's the same as the painted TK kit, uh, ABS kit. I've seen mm -hmm. painted kits that when they look wonderful until you stand them next to any other TK. Yeah. Because that paint, that unless it's done, unless like the TK, like Marty's TK, he got his paint in an automotive shop. Mm -hmm. It's like, but I've seen guys with, with rattle can TK kits and, you know, they, they're, it can be a little rough because white is not nearly as forgiving as people think it is. Right. So that's why I like clones. They're weathered. Yeah. Well, even the clone kits, the 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 um, a lot of them are vacuum formed too. Yeah, you have to paint the clones though, because the clones yeah. have a matte finish instead of a gloss, like the stormtroopers. Yeah, well, when and also a lot of the clone kits, the the it's ABS with um, a molded helmet. Yeah, like the TK is vacuum formed all the way. Yeah, I don't think you can vacuum form that clone helmet. I think there's just way too many. There, there's way too much geometry in it. You could probably do, you'd have to do it in pieces. And your problem is there's no line across the dome because right. it, it'd be like the, it'd be like the biker scout mm -hmm. you know? and the biker scouts. Another one that's tough because that's why is I love Walt's biker scout helmets because of the detail, but I hate that the seam is right down the middle, you know? So you got, that's a lot of, and I have that soft Bondo that doesn't crack. Mm -hmm. uh, or uh, like the flexible part of your car, and that yeah. works really great, but it's very hard to get smooth. Oh, I, I would imagine. But that's what my my um, Ezra helmet is. One uh, Walt's helmet. Is it? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, because someone was selling a Walt's Biker Scout helmet for like fifty bucks, and that was back in my that was back in my days of I was just banging <laughs> stuff out, and I was like, fifty bucks, give it to me, Psh, none. Yeah. You know, so, but, so we have 2024. So 
So we talked a little bit about our goals last week, uh, but then we didn't really get full fledged into it. Um, but Star Wars goals, Ken, start with you. In so, any, any any way, shape, or form. So goals, I want to get more involved with the rambling Star Wars fan. I want to get more consistent with that. And I don't know if you guys have been paying attention. Um, I've started this thing with the rambling Star Wars fan called Deep Thoughts in Star Wars. So every day I've been posting. It's very similar to the old Deep Thoughts with Jack Handy. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what that's exactly what I was thinking. And so sometimes the words don't make sense with the picture, and then sometimes the 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 words and the picture combined really get you get your get your thinking going. And so I'm I'm curious to see or to hear, not necessarily tonight, but a future date, you know, some of your thoughts on the, on the things that I put together and shared. I actually put out my first TikTok video um, the other day with the, the rambling Star Wars fans. So I'm going to start doing some more of that. It was just silly. I was sitting down, like I, I told Mike, I was going to do this. And so I did it. Um, and I'd like to have at least, at least one episode a month with the rambling Star Wars fans. So that's, those are some of my goals for 2024. Well, and, and the, TikTok, if you get the hang of it and you're doing stuff like that, use it on your desktop where you can actually set a release time. Oh, really? So mm-hmm. it, it you can't download individual pictures. You can only download videos that you've already made. But on TikTok, when you load it that way, you lose some of the features in the building, but you can set when it comes out. Oh, so if okay. you have a good day where you turn out 10, you can... You could have them all ready to go. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. Then you link Tink to TikTok to your Instagram, and then it just follows, goes to your Instagram, and goes right to your Facebook. I also want to get, you mentioned at one point, uh, um, putting the podcast shows on YouTube. So that's another goal I have for 2024, okay. is to get the Rambling Star Wars fan up on YouTube. How about you, John? What do you have in mind for uh, 2024? I got I to gotta get back into the best car bucket. I need to, I need to do some maintenance, fix the bar up. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's probably number one. Number two is I have gotten a costume approved for the last two years. I need to get another costume approved this year. That is, that is, that is a goal that I would like to keep. Mando? Matt, the radar technician. Mando? Probably not Mando. I don't like the, it's a little too complex for what I have already. I would need to start from the ground up. Um, whether I it might end up being another Kylo, um, I think I do think um, the radar technician would be awesome for you. Just do them all, yeah. Just do all Adam Driver stuff. Yeah, because I mean, I've got the only things I would need now that I know I've got Supreme Leader Kylo approved. That was kind of one of those things. Where it's like, okay, we're gonna get this approved, and then we're gonna go into the rest. Because if I can, I the only things I need to get. All of them approved would be the Rise of Skywalker helmet, cape, the Last Jedi cape, and then the Star Killer base robes. That would be all I would need. Granted, we're talking like three or four thousand dollars. Did your girlfriend anything. sew? No. You need a new girlfriend. No, she she <laughs> it's, crochets it's early on, man. Just just she crochets. She crochets. There you go. Get her to do a crochet for you. So. I think the scale's off. I don't know if you can wear that cape. I don't think so. But how about you, Mike? What do you have in mind for twenty twenty four? What do you want? To <coughs> Vader. <coughs> yeah, Vader. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Well, I, I yeah, I, I Vader has to be my number one goal because that's that's like even even my stormtrooper armor doesn't make me feel bad because I I have stormtrooper armor, and I I was trying to look when I bought this Vader helmet. And I think I bought the Vader helmet in 2014. Ten years ago? <laughs> oh, my God, Mike, it's time. I know. Well, because we had a shortage of Vaders. Like, we were trooping, and you couldn't get a Vader. You still, have, you, you still have a shortage because you haven't made yours yet. So you have, you have one less Vader than you could have. So mine is Vader and, um, and my Expo. To get us on stage with on um, Fan Expo, that's I've been pushing that. Um, 
I'm going to send it. I, I send an email out right before break. I'll send one out. I, I have to write two grants for school. When I get those grants written today or tomorrow, I will um, probably bug the per person at the, uh, at Fan Expo again. Um, and I want C3PO done. That's my other, you know, for, for Zoe or Sappy. Um, because I just want C3PO to either stand in my house or, you know, I had my over Christmas, I had Marty calling me and we, he was looking at the, um, all the 3d printer sales over the, the, uh, any cubic was running like some killer sales and stuff. And I was like, oh, I, I, I can't, I can't go with it. I don't need another three. My printers aren't running right now. So, you know, I, I can't though that, that now that bamboo, was it the bamboo labs that does the multicolor? The X1 oh, carbon. Like, well, who needs to print in color? And then I see people printing in color and I'm like, oh, man, maybe I do need to print in color. Uh, it, look, it, the the X1 Carbon is amazing. I would love to have one, but I do not love paying $1,300 for a 3D printer that doesn't even print any bigger than 9x9. Nine nine. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, that's the other thing. I I think once I went to, a, I don't think I could ever go smaller than a 12x12, 12 12, you know? Yeah. I mean, once, once I just, I couldn't go smaller than my CR10, I don't think. Um but yeah, I, I want I just want to get stuff done. I'd like to have I'd like to troop more. You know, I don't know if that'll happen or not. Well, we should. I, I know I, we mentioned it last week, but John wasn't here. We should make plans to do air and scare together. Yeah, I definitely want air and scare. Like I, I air and scare, um, just because of the way it falls. I think air and scare will be a, a doable thing for me. Um, and hopefully, maybe I can have C3PO done for Sappy by then. Um, and my, I, I would still love to take a, a Mando of some sort to that. I don't think I'd do a Vader. I just want Vader done for myself and my Halloween. And yeah, so I'd like to have a droid done for for Air and Scare, and hopefully, you know, knock on wood, get. Get Heather's uh, Bo Katan done by then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you need to do for Bo Katan so far? All of it. Oh. Yeah. Ken, notice how he didn't say Keely, which means I am inching closer <laughs> to filching that. It's. I don't know. I I I, I like that Keely. It, uh, it's. Yeah, but you look at the shins painted, man. It's that's ten easy. years with a Vader helmet. Just, well, I gotta get all that in mind. He hasn't all, had Keeley for ten years yet. I gotta get all the detail done, and, and that the but I got the helmet done. That's that was the thing. That was like the stumbling point. Now I got the helmet done. Now my next stumbling point is the pauldron, because mm -hmm. I have the hard plastic pauldron. Yeah. So I have to put the um, EVA foam on the squares. Mm. And I, I have a feeling once I have that done, it'll just domino into everything done. That's just that's just one of those things. You know, like certain things you just want to start or don't want to start. Does Keely yeah. have a belt buckle? No, he has the white he has the white clone belt. Okay. <laughs> yeah, belt buckles. I get hung up on belt buckles. Yeah, that's your, that's your stumbling block. Well, sometimes when I'm working on the on the the like I have I just gotta put the chest box together and all those pieces and I look at it and I'm like, man, I should just like just fork over the money and just buy a set. Because there's people on Etsy that sell the whole set. Yeah. You know, but then you get the price, and they're like five hundred dollars. You're like, oh yeah. imagine how I feel. I, I literally all I want is uh the Rise of Skywalker Kylo cape, thirteen hundred dollars. <sighs> yeah, but see you see. We all have to do this, but I, I keep saying I, I need to figure out how I can parlay the crap I can make into the soft goods. Yeah. Ooh. Or figure out a good way, a good barter. Yeah. Like I will gladly mow your lawn fifteen times for one for well, one. Well, what like when we did I did a run during COVID of cadet helmets. Mm -hmm. And we did twenty 21 or 22 i listed them on a monday they were all sold by wednesday damn you know and and i just it's the, i just got to start doing runs again 
because when I do my runs, it's it's pre like when when I announce the run, it they're already done. Mm -hmm. Like it's not like these guys. Oh, here's a run, and then I'll see you in six months. Yeah, because that's my biggest irritant right now is people are making people wait so long for stuff. Well, then there's there are some folks, and I don't know if this is common or not, but so they'll say I'm gonna do a run of this, so I need seven people to give me the money up front and then they're going to use that money to go buy the supplies to do the thing. And then something comes up and they don't use the money to buy the supplies. So they don't do the thing. And that is, that is almost as common as people getting the stuff done, which is sad to say, because I remember, I forget what it, what I got done. Either it was Zoe's a soap address, the, the cloth goods, or it was the headpiece. One of them, I, they sent me a contract. That I had to sign, right? And, and which I was fine. I'm like, oh, they're making me do all this. I, I'm assuming they're going to make this super quick, and they didn't. You know, like, like I, I, I completely understand people being picky about that, but then you have to be that same way on the flip side when you make it. You know, if, like, so like to me personally, I like to have everything made because exactly what you said, Ken. You never know what's going to happen. Like I could do this, like this, this, um, Royal guard mold is beautiful. Well, what if the first one I pull, I tear it, the mold, then what do I do? I have, I just bought seven dollars, seven people's worth of stuff. And then I got to scrape together the money or give them something with a tear in it. So that's my two cents. Um, but I think we have a good star Wars year ahead. I hope the um, the Ray movie, I think, has a lot of potential. I know the naysayers. I, poor poor Adam Driver, though, right? They they were bugging him if he was going to be in the new one. I wish he would have said, my character died, stupid. Of course I'm not going to be in it. I wish he would have said that because then every every outlet was, Kev Adam Driver says he'll never do Star Wars again. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Uh, he, oh, could, he, he could be in it as a force ghost. He could I'm be a force know. ghost. He like, could be a flashback. He could. Be... But, I'm, but I'm saying, like, I think the people questioning him were just looking for another reason to say how terrible Star Wars was. They wanted they wanted him to go full Harrison Ford, 1983, on them. You know what I mean? So. Well, I don't usually make promises, but I can promise you that 2024 in this house is still going to be a great Star Wars year. Oh, same here. I, I same here. I just again today I woke up with all the negativity and all that stuff, and I was just like, "Come on!" Like I don't know, but that's good. And I also this year I need to shorten our outro so we don't keep getting um, copyright violations. The, the intro doesn't get us copyright violations, but the outro does. And I sent m messages in Instagram and Facebook to the guy who performed the music for our intro and outro to see if I could get him on the show. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like a big time music guy now, so I don't think he's going to. like. It's, it's probably more like if you look up those songs, they have the same hatred as the um, holiday special. Oh yeah, everyone it's hates the worst Star, Star Wars, Wars game. game ever. Worst Star Wars music ever. Well, obviously they never played Bombad Racing. Well, I don't know, but I say we want wrap this one up. I know we do have to get our award show in in, in here soon, but I think we just got to get back to the synergy of all three of us being on. Yes, sir. So let yeah. me do our outro, and uh, if I can find it. Thanks for another great episode, guys. Ships. But then my flock is hyperdrive to slay.